Hi everybody, it's Paul here at the War HQ and if you were watching um, one of the War Room shows, the one from Las Vegas, you'll have seen us meet up with Alan Rockwell who has his own company that makes various things but on one of the things he makes is MDF um, painting lights and that's what this is. You'll find it comes in the box, it looks exactly like this. This is already made up, lights are done and plug is wired in. The only criticism I might have with it is a fairly short lead to the plug, although this will actually work perfectly for me as it happens, but it would be easy enough to extend this cable with minimal skill and in safety using cable connectors or putting an extension on this. And for the UK, the only thing I'm going to add to this kit is an international plug adapter to get this going. The things that you have to make up with this is in this little packet there are legs to go on the bottom of this arched lighting system which I can't get out of the packet now because I've stuck the bits the stick of it. There we go. And they're basically just some stands. They'll go together fairly easily just like that. Fix that up with wood glue and then uh, if you'll see this end all stick in there like that and so to get a closer look at it this is an arch and it has lead lights glued to it in here and the idea is you set this arch up on your painting desk and you get to paint and you have an all-round light so once I get this made up we're going to move to my painting desk and you're going to see this in action and see um, just how much of a little boon this is to your painting skills so here we are, we've got GC Mini's um, painting light set up, we've put the legs on, I've kept them loose because without the little foot stands it fits somewhere else quite nicely for me. But we've got it set, sat up over my painting station. Now that would be the light I've normally got for painting. Um, I've just got the overhead light and it's fine, um, it does alright, that's a strip light. Occasionally I will use this light up here, but that actually is a slightly yellowish light, which I don't like, and it casts light down from, uh, where is it, from this direction, slightly from the back, and casts a shadow just where I have it set up. So I often don't paint with that, I just paint in this light. So let's see what difference this is going to make to us. So we'll set that up over our painting area. And let's go and switch on. As I say, for the UK, I've just put this into an adapter. And hopefully immediately you can see quite a difference. Now, for painting, this is quite a good area in here for painting models. You can see on that metal model, I'm going to um, zoom in a bit just so you can see the difference in the light. It's probably flooding it a wee bit there, but... This gives you an excellent light and room for painting, etc. And I don't know if you can see this model here. That's a painted model. Gives you an idea of the how the light will catch and pick up the details. And again, for smaller tanks, etc. If you're using a brush, you would probably find that fine for painting. And this so you can see against the grey plastic. Um, probably should have taken that tank out of the picture, but hey, well, you can see there. So, for painting, there's quite a lot of room. Let me just zoom out a little bit again. There we go. For zoom out a little bit, for painting, this is quite good, and the arch doesn't really interfere too much with the brush but if you are wanting to paint from the back you've got can you take your brush and go under there which i don't think would be a huge problem as such but if it annoys you you might want to chop your brushes off so you've got slightly smaller brushes who knows but the light is absolutely excellent and you can really see the details coming up which i like and you get illumination basically all around now together with the light I have over the top. I'm going to switch my main light off just so you can see. And to be honest, there's, I wouldn't have said there's not a lot of difference in the actual painting area here. 
I can see just as well as I did before. I'm just going to turn that on again. Do you know what? I don't actually see any difference with that main light on or off for the area I'm painting in. Now, the only thing we need to do is sort out where you're going to set up your water pot. So if I was painting on the other side of this, like that, I would maybe have my paint pot and sitting over there just so I'm not dragging this brush back and through but I think I would get used to that very quickly and I'm certainly going to be using this simply because the light is so awesome makes me wonder if uh, it would be worth maybe purchasing another one so overall let's get to it I think this product is well worth the money um, it only cost a few dollars, it comes ready assembled, the light is superb, all I needed was uh, an international, international adapter for here in the UK, obviously in the US this is going to work straight, plug in and play. There's no on off switch which doesn't really bother me, you plug it in and it's on, you take it out and it's off. There's no heat to speak of at all. I can't think of any bad points on this guys. It would be nice if the arch was a little bit bigger, but I understand the actual engineering of a steady enough arch in a bigger size is a bit problematic. Um, and, big, and once the light starts getting much higher than that, you do start to lose some of the illumination. So it's probably set for its optimum illumination with these LED lights. So guys, let me know what you think. This is um, LED painting light from, well, LED painting light from Gamescraft Miniatures or gcminis.com. I would thoroughly recommend this product and I know I'm certainly gonna be using it and I'll maybe post a little um, video once I have actually been using it for a few weeks just to let you know how I'm getting on. Thank you very much, guys.